What's up, my horse lovers? It's the Horse Reactor here, and I am back for another reaction. And this time, we are returning to NBC Sports for uh, a different video. I am going to do the 2019 Preakness and Belmont Stakes soon. Just don't know when. Um, anyways, this one's called Reexamining the controversial 2019 Kentucky Derby NBC Sports. So yeah, it's about the 2019 Derby. Um, I wanted to do a reaction to this one with my friend X Coasters Forever, but I kind of forgot and didn't get the chance. So I'm doing it now. And also, um, me and X Coasters Forever did a reaction to the 2019 pre I mean Derby. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. I'm trying to do the pop noise. So anyways, that's the uh that's the thumbnail for the video that me and X Coasters Forever did. And it's kind of messed up that they disqualified maximum security. So Anyways, I want to find out why they did that. So, hopefully this video has enough information on why they disqualified him. So, anyways, let's get to it. In 3, 2, 1, play. The, 145th the running of the 145th Kentucky Derby ended at 6 minutes before 7 on the first Saturday in May, 2019. Oh, yeah. The track was a swamp, Definitely. and a veil of fog hung over Churchill Downs. Light rain fell intermittently as darkness approached. Maximum security wins the Kentucky Derby! He did not deserve to get taken down. Colt named Maximum Security crossed the finish line first. One and three-quarter lengths in front of Country House. A 65 to one long shot closing on the outside. The winner was what we like to call a good story. Yep. Less than five months before the Derby, Maximum Security had run for a claiming tag. Clear, a claiming he's a race? Winner. He's Maximum Security for Jason Service and Gary and Mary West. He could have been purchased that day at Gulfstream Park for $16,000. Seriously? Afterward, he rapidly improved. Oh, yeah. There were whispers on the Churchill Downs backstretch that he had improved a little too rapidly. Huh? But those whispers fell silent as the race approached. They're all in line. We're ready for the start. They would arise much later and much louder than a whisper. This is the most far-reaching prosecution of racehorse doping. In the Derby, Maximum Security took the lead and refused to give it up, digging deep in the home stretch. He was clearly the best horse on the day. Maximum security oh, yeah. keeps on fighting. He was owned by Gary and Mary West, who had invested millions in the game without ever collecting its biggest prize. For Gary and Mary West. And they so did for a little while. Sport, it is the highlight of their racing career. He was trained by Jason Service, a workaday trainer who had only once qualified a horse to run in the Derby and had never won it. I mean, I'm like ready to lose it, really. It's just real emotional for me. And it was emotional was for all the Louis maximum Saez, security and the 26 game year old Panamanian and rising star. Well, except Jason who Service, he did not never have won the Derby. Game winner. In the Derby. Three first timers in the winner's circle. It was a classic Derby feel good moment. Oh, yeah. Except it wasn't over at all. Nope. So for the first time in the history of the Kentucky Derby, the horse that crossed the line first has been disqualified. 22 minutes after maximum security flashed beneath the twin spires, he became the first Derby winner disqualified for a violation committed during the running of the race. Country House was declared the winner at the he second did not deserve longest that odds in Derby history. After the objection, Country House at 65 to 1 wins the Kentucky Derby. Now a year has passed. It's more than In a year. In this strangest of springs, the next derby is scheduled for Kentucky September. Derby postponed for the first time since World War II. We will see if it happens then. 
and how. As the coronavirus crisis changes daily life as we know it. But even oh, yeah. as we wait and wonder about the fate of the 146th Kentucky Derby, the outcome of the 145th remains strangely in doubt. Yep. Written into history only in pencil. Trophies have been presented and checks written. The name Country House is painted in gold letters on a facade above the Churchill Down saddling paddock. Not the anymore. Kentucky Derby drama continues. Now the owners of Maximum Security have filed a lawsuit asking a federal court to they declare the, a the winner of Kentucky Derby 145. But Dang. a lawyer's brief sits in a courthouse in Ohio where someday a judge will rule on Gary West's argument that maximum security should never have been taken down. I kind so of agree with him. really have any alternative legally. It all began minutes after maximum security finished. Far past the line and around the clubhouse turn, Saez pulled up his mouth and talked to NBC's Donna Brothers. Luis, you're the number seven. He was elated, but then he said this. What did he when say? When we just came over there to a stretch, he he started like getting a little bit scared for this. A lot of people screaming and the so the and this. seemed to bother him. Cause he's a baby, you know. He just learned. Yeah, he's a baby. He's a three-year-old thoroughbred. And I keep fighting because I know he's a. You don't look like a baby. He's a fighting and this guy he did it. It was the first inkling that something had happened. They can pull you up. That guy, they should take him down, man. You know second? Yeah. They, you should take and get put up. For sure. Not far from Saez on the backstretch, jockey Flavian Pratt, you mean Flavian House, Pratt? told his outrider to radio the stewards and ask them to put a hold on the race. Our we have a claim of foul. The 20 against the winner. Something happened to my inside, Pratt would say later. He jogged yeah, well, his horse back to the barely bothered by it and called the stewards. Jockey John Court. Wait, why did John Court get toddy, on the phone? Did the same. Saez got on the phone too to make his case. The one announcement that stops a racetrack cold boomed over the public address system. Hold on tickets. Hold on tickets. There's a rider's objection in this race. On the infield tote board, the word unofficial remained illuminated. We stood in the mud near the finish line and we stood near the piles of manure in the tunnel. Trainers and jockeys, writers and cameramen. That's Larry Comus. We waited and minutes passed like hours. Because it, because it was hours for the stewards to make a stupid decision. The Derby had been run every year since 10 years after the end of the Civil War. But it had never seen anything like this. Keep in mind, there's never been a disqualification from first in the history of the Kentucky Derby. In a tiny room high above the track, three stewards watched the race from five angles. They have to make a decision. Did they see anything that clearly impeded the horse and is something that's worth impacting the result of the race? No. Those same angles played on the giant Churchill screen and on television screens across America. This is what they showed. As the field approached the top of the stretch, jockey Tyler Gaffalione maneuvered War of Will toward a narrow hole between long-range toddy and maximum security. War of Will seemed to be full of run. He did. But you never know because sometimes horses get tired. Suddenly, maximum security darted to his outside, what the? forcing oh, yeah. Gaffalione and Court to pull up. Country House was bumped just slightly. But he definitely yeah, he bumped just path, slightly all of a sudden he had to the make the disqualification. The four path. It all happened in a heartbeat. After the incident, Saez steered maximum security back to the rail, where he discouraged Code of Honor and jockey John Velasquez from advancing further. War of Will struggled to finish eighth. Long range toddy lost interest and fell back to 17th. Country House clomped up in second, never threatening maximum security. After those 22 minutes, the race went official. There's been a disqualification. The new order of finish, number 20, Country House first. Yes! You guys did not deserve to win. Maximum security had been disqualified. A collective gasp rose into the sky, followed by a persistent chorus of boos. Millions had been bet on maximum security. Millions now lost. 
Millions now frustrated. In the mud, Country House's trainer, Bill Mott, sheepishly tried to explain how it felt to have a derby win handed to him. I don't really like to win this way. Service tried to explain how it felt to have one taken away. It hasn't hit me yet, I'm sure. It'll probably affect me for a long time. A discomforting murmur hung in the air. The stewards had made the correct decisions. No, they didn't. Disqualifying horse and rider for a dangerous move that could have turned tragic. Yeah, he, but in the right hours, about that. weeks, and months that it followed, could have turned tragic, the but outcome was put under a microscope. It didn't. And Questions were asked. The stewards did not make the Why right call. Why had Gaffalione not claimed foul against Saez? We need to hear from the jockey that was impeded the most, and that's Tyler Gaffleon on War of Will. His You're answer, kind of about that. because it would only have elevated him from eighth place to seventh. Oh, come on. You're going to get the stewards this, not you're eliminated gonna be bumped the up to seventh anyways. without first hearing from the riders. They looked at exactly what the whole rest of the world looked at, and they didn't file a steward's inquiry. They have never explained why. And this. Where is the justice in awarding the most prized trophy in American racing to a horse who wasn't fouled and who never would have reached the line first? There is no easy answer for that one. No. Except that rules were followed and decisions were made. This is NBC Nightly News. The story lives on. Gary you know, West first filed a lawsuit. Seriously? It was dismissed. He has appealed. Maximum Security's co-owner called it the most egregious disqualification in the history of horse racing. It's possible kind of agree with him on that. in some distant future at the U.S. Supreme Court. This morning, more than Seriously, it was all in the news. horse trainers, veterinarians, and others have all been charged in a massive horse doping bust. Good morning. Oh. I'm Jeff Berman, U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Wait, why is there a picture of X-Ray Jet criminal there? criminal charges against racehorse trainers Jorge Navarro and Jason Service. In March, Service was one of the trainers indicted on federal charges for trafficking in illegal drugs that were given to their horses, including maximum security, Damn. although not specifically in the Kentucky Derby. Just last week, maximum security won a major race in the Middle East. Maximum security is the winner of the inaugural Saudi Cup. The horse that will be remembered for a race he lost will now be remembered for a race he won. Yep. The $10 million purse that maximum security earned for winning the Saudi Cup in February has been withheld. What a story for Jason Service. Service has pled not guilty. Maximum security is taking an extended break and is expected to race again under a new trainer, Bob Baffert. Country House, meanwhile, never ran again. He became ill with a virus in the what days kind of following his unlikely derby win and later struggled with injuries. He was retired in February after a bout with laminitis threatened his life. Ugh. And this is where we are, one year later. It's not a year later. A derby champion, never well, quite the time respected. Of this recording. A disqualified winner, now disgraced. A controversial race in the mud, under a weeping spring sky, still not finished. Oh yeah. And now we just went to the logo. So anyways, I was re-examining the controversial... 2019 Kentucky Derby, NBC Sports. I don't think that I uh, had a lot of information, to be honest. But I still don't. I, th I still don't think that Maximum Security deserved to be taken down like that. He did not. I mean, like, is it the horse's fault that he got scared by the crowd making all the noise? No, it's not. I mean, like, what do you want him to do? Sometimes they can't help it. Um, and I still don't think Country House deserved the win in the Derby then. And I know it said one year later in the video, but at the time of me recording this reaction, it's not a year later. But anyways, video was kind of okay. Um, it was just... 
Okay, I would say, like, I just did. Um, also, Maximum Security is retired these days. And I really think that he should have been the Derby winner of 2019. I mean, in 2019. And also, Country House was just bothered a little bit. It didn't really... When maximum security ducked out to, uh, what did it say, the fourth path of the track, Country House was just bumped slightly and doesn't even look like he was affected by anything, to be honest. But we should have heard from Jockey John Court and Tyler Gaffleon. And maybe Johnny Velasquez. If Code of Honor was affected then by what Maximum Security did. So anyways, that's going to be it for this reaction. So please leave a like down below. Most importantly, copy the name of the video I reacted to and search it up in the search bar. So you guys can see the video for yourself without having me talk over it. And click over here to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.